Hello. Hello, Kirk. It's Gina. I need to see you this morning as soon as possible. Well, fine. I have a pretty busy morning. Ah, it's going to be a lot busier if I come around there and start making trouble for you. I won't take no for an answer. Now make time for me. Okay, well, I'll try and arrange it. I don't know if there's anything I can do before noon. All right, I'll meet you at noon. Okay, fine. Yeah, I'm as anxious to settle this as you are. I doubt it. Meet me at Buzz's place. I'll be waiting for you. Okay, fine. Goodbye. Sorry about that. Just a little business on top of business. So, what are you doing sneaking around this morning? Huh? I can't believe you're going out jogging. I do it every morning. Incredible. It's good for you. Oh, I'm sure it is. I just didn't know you were into that kind of thing. Oh, I was on my cross-country team in high school. Well, then you must be pretty good. <laughs> but I'll tell you something. If you're going to go jogging around Santa Barbara, you're going to have to look a little more stylish than How? Oh, no. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> oh, there. Oh. That's a star. I don't know. I, I, there's so much I need to learn about California. <laughs> I know. And I'm going to teach you. Because we're family. we got to stick together. Why'd you feel that way? I do. You and I are going to get along just fine. I've got plans for us. All kinds of plans. Now, why don't you go on your jog, and I'll meet you at Buzz's place, and we'll have a bite to eat a little later. Okay. See you in a few. All right. Smart, Mark. Very smart. Hey. Who are you rushing off to? I woke you. I I'm sorry. You're kidding us. I, I have a an early appointment. It's a possible decorating job. Great. When'd that come up? Yesterday. It's really not for sure, but I, I, I'm in a terrible hurry. Well, can you spare a minute? I want to talk to you. Well, it has to be quick. I want to know what's going on here sometime. I don't know what you mean. I mean, ever since you're running with Mr. C, you've been very distant. Now, I understand that you're upset he didn't give you Brandon. But we haven't even talked about this, so I don't even know what he said to you. Listen. I need to know. Want to know what I dreamed about all night? As long as I don't have to interpret it. Oh, no, you wouldn't have any trouble with this one anyway. It's just one of your basic happy dreams. Yeah. I was at a playground or something like that with our son. Yeah, I was pushing him on the swings, watching him slide down the slide. We were just playing. Probably the happiest dream I've had in a long time. Well, maybe you were dreaming about your childhood. <laughs> Hardly. Slides and swings were not a part of my childhood. No. Darling, this was our son. I guess ever since we started talking about having children, I've just been a little nuts or ever something. Ever since you started talking about having a child, you mean, let's not forget whose idea this is. Well, Eden, it's very important to me. I can't believe that you don't want to have a baby. Why? Why, because uh, a, a woman wants to have a baby as soon as she can? Is it a law of nature? No, but I know how much you love children, and you'd make a terrific mother. Kirk, I don't want to interrupt my career right now. I mean that. Oh, Eden, a, a career? You know, a child is so much more important than being an executive. Not to me, not necessarily. I've worked a long time to get where I am right now. Well, you can get right back there. Your dad owns the darn company. You just take a sabbatical. <sighs> Sweetheart, a baby would just make it all so much more complete for us. And it's not complete now. Well, you know, I've never really known for sure if you loved me or not. 
I've told you. What, what do I have to do to reassure you? Oh, no, don't tell me. Have a baby. Well, it would be living proof. And the whole world would know it. Oh, so we have to go proving things to the world now? Is that what you're saying? I do. And I'm proud to be married to you. I would like people to know that it goes both ways. Look, Kirk, I'm just going to have to do a lot of thinking about that. That's all. You know, your father wants a grandson. As much as I do right now. Especially since he found out that Brandon is no longer blood relation to him. Now, wouldn't you like to be able to give him his first grandson? Why, is there a prize for being first? Well, as a matter of fact, there is. Kind of. He'll get double the trust fund at the other grandchildren. That's hardly a reason to rush into it, is it? Oh, darling, I'm just trying to make a joke. If this is something that I want you to do for me. I want you to do it out of love. And Cece will be very happy, too. Besides, I want to have children before I'm too old to enjoy them. Kirk, I need some time to consider it. Eden, what's there to consider? This is the most natural thing there is in the world. And there's nothing to having a baby. But can we at least get rid of these birth control pills? Bruce, I'm going to be late. Now, wait a second. You get into some kind of beef with Mr. C and all of a sudden you hate me? Are you not even going to tell me why? I'm sorry. I don't mean to seem that way. Well, Santana, I, I want you to have Brandon. I'll do whatever I can to help you get him. Would you? Yeah. Anything? You know I would. No, I don't think so. What does that mean? It means that I couldn't ask you to do something that you're not ready to do just to get my son. This is my own battle. I just got through telling you I'll do whatever I Look, can. Look, you've got to let me take care of this myself. You've got to trust me that I'm going to do the right thing. Now, please, I've got to go. Thanks for trusting me with him. Hey, you're welcome. So what's going on? Ah, uh, don't be so nosy. Mark, you tell me I can't go back to the guest house all day. What do you want from me? Listen, you're not setting foot in there until this evening. In the meantime, I got the whole day planned out. And then we'll go back there tonight for the grand finale. What do you got planned? Oh, I got a day full of simple, wholesome activities. First, take a walk along the beach. And we'll go by the museum, see the Lockridge exhibit. And maybe I'll take you to lunch in one of those nice outdoor garden restaurants. Mm. And then something that I know is going to make your whole day. We'll take a trip out to the casino. Ah, oh, the casino. I guess you were so impressed and had such a great time there opening night, you couldn't wait to get back. And we'll have a great time today. Provided Mason doesn't show up. patient. She'll be back in a minute. Eden, will you please promise me that you'll think seriously about it? Yes. I will promise you I'll think seriously about it. You don't know what that means to me. I love you for it. Look, but if every... I can't guarantee you a boy. Okay? It, don't worry about that. It'll happen. I guarantee it. It's nice to see you happy. And I know it'll make Daddy happy, too. Oh, and fatherhood. Fatherhood is going to change me, Eden, and this family. The Capwell family. I mean, that's yours now, right? Not mine. But once this child is born, I can feel as though I belong to it. You do now. No, no, no. Not the way I want it. Not the way I will once that baby's born. I'll be related by blood. Belonging to you is really important, isn't it? Well, sure. Isn't it to everybody? No, I hadn't actually thought about it. Well, that's because you've always belonged. And I haven't. Oh, man. Time is just going away with me. I've, uh, I gotta be going. Where are you going? I've gotta go on out to the casino. 
Hey, that's turned out to be quite a bonanza, hasn't it? Yeah, I thought it was a good idea from the beginning. Well, once again, you were impeccable in your choice of things. <laughs> well, I gotta go, all right? Okay. I'm so happy you're thinking about having that baby. Thank you again. It makes me very happy. to your dad? Yeah, he's a real dynamo, isn't he? Yes, and I want him to stay that way. But how can he if he won't take proper care of himself? Oh, he will. Tell you what, I'll talk to him. I think? Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. No. All right, well, I'm gonna run. Really run. See you there. Hi, Susanna. Hi, Ted. Where's my mama? Oh, she, yeah, she's right there. There you too. Oh, thanks. Bye. Hola, Mommy. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, darling. I'm surprised you would dare come here after yesterday. <laughs> Believe me, I, I checked to make sure that Cece was at the office, not here. You wasn't very happy about the way you talked to him. Mama, do you know what he's done? He told me last night. He had no right to say that I had to get married in order to get Brandon. He's the adopted father. He's the person in control. Mama, I know what he really wants. Listen, he wants... He wants Cruz totally out of Eden's life. So he thinks I'll make Cruz marry me in order to get Brandon. Oh, Santana, it may not be as complicated as all that. Well, it is. It is, Mama. Listen, he's playing with my life again, just the same way he did when, when Channing was alive. Darling, you've told me you want to marry Cruz. Well, so... of course I want to marry Cruz, but I don't want to be forced to marry anyone. I can't rush things along. I, I nearly ruined my relationship with Cruz when I tried to do that before. I'm not going to do it again. Have you told him what Cece said? No. Why not? Uh, Mama, I, I don't want to lose him. I'm afraid he'll run away or he'll... he'll do what he thinks is the honorable thing and marry me, whether he loves me or not, and I don't like either one of those. Well, I'm sorry, but I think you should tell Cruz. It wouldn't be fair to him if you didn't. And if you continue going out with him and someone else tells him, he's going to think you're trying to use him. Mama, don't worry. I'm not going to leave things the way they are. I decided that the best thing is, is for me to stay away from Cruz altogether. Oh, Santana, no oh, Mama, listen to me. Nada. Listen to me. If Cruz wants me, he'll come back to me. And if he wants to ask me to marry him, I want it to be because he wants to. Anyway, I don't even know if Cruz would want to raise Brandon. Oh, I think he would. And I think that if you tell him the truth, that he will be very understanding. You've got to trust people, darling. Especially people you love. I know, I just don't want to lose him. Hello, Cruz. Hey, glad I ran into you. Kirk, I thought this was neutral territory. Look, I don't want any hard feelings between us, Cruz. I, I'm grateful that you're trying to still stay out of Eden's life. Yeah, I can see how that would inspire gratitude in you. Well, I've got a lot to be grateful about these days. Cece and I are getting along very well. I know he's very glad that I'm Eden's husband. If you don't mind, I'm kind of busy. And then, of course, uh, there's Eden and I. Well, she's a wonderful woman, Cruz. Of course, I don't need to tell you that. I no, do I you don't. You don't need to, and I wish you would. But I haven't told you the best news. There's more. Yeah, yeah. Eden and I have decided to have a baby. She agrees with me. Time to get started. Why are you telling me this? Just wanted to share it with somebody. You know, you're the first person I've told it to. Really, I'm not surprised. Anyway, I just like us to let bygones be bygones. I mean, we do have to live in the same Pueblo. Hey, amigo? Maybe you'd like to come on down to the christening. Uh, actually, I suppose Godfather would be pushing it, but, well, we'd still like you to be there anyway. Yeah, okay. I, I just thought she might have turned up there. Sure, yeah, thanks.
Dear Cruz, I'm sorry about doing it this way, but I couldn't face you to say this. I don't think we should see so much of each other anymore. It was good for a time, but now I need a little space and time to work out a few things in my life. I don't mean I don't want to see you at all, but not as often as we've been doing. I hope you understand and aren't angry with me. Love, Santana. And what the hell did you say to her, Mr. C? I don't believe this. Somebody told me you were practicing law from a blackjack table, only I thought that they were kidding. Hello, Bobby. Hello, Mason. Is it true? Yes, it's true. And why not? I even have a sign in here. I, at one time, set up law practice in the State Street Bistro. Casino's a step up. They're felt on the tables here. All kidding aside, are you really going to do this? Bobby, I am really, sincerely going to do this. OK, then why? Well, these are trying times, Bobby, so I thought I'd try this. Mm. Of course, I feel a little like uh, Napoleon on Elba, but I have no choice, thanks to my father. The mainland is closed to me now. Mason, rumors are flying that you are opening up a legal practice in the casino. Tell me, it's not true. I'm afraid it is, Augusta. You haven't said hello to Bobby. Hello, Bobby. Hi, Miss Love. I'm not going to allow this. I want you to go back to shore and open an office like a normal attorney. Too late, Augusta. The die, as they say, is cast. I already have permission from your boss. Would you please talk some sense to him? I'm paid to deal cards, not to give advice. Give up. Would uh, you excuse me for a minute, Bobby? I have to make a call. Sure, go ahead. I'll keep the table warm. Maybe it'll bring you luck. seems a little slow today. Why don't you deal me a hand? <laughs> yeah. I guess you've had a change of heart. About what? About representing me in my divorce action. No, I haven't. I don't think you should have one. Oh, Julia, I don't care what you think. You're a lawyer. I'm asking you to do your job. I don't have to do jobs that I don't believe in. Julia, I'm your sister. And I think you and Lionel should stay together, so I'm not going to do something to permanently split you up. I don't believe this. If you want to fight for something, why don't you fight to keep your marriage together? Now, I know you still li love Lionel. And, and first of all, why don't you think about your children? What about Lakin? And what about Warren? They are not made of sugar and water. They have to learn to deal with reality. And divorce happens to be a reality. It doesn't have to be a reality. You could try a reconciliation. Why are you being such a hard head? I'm being decisive. Don't blame this on me. Lionel's the one who's having the affair. In the open, I might add. How do you know that? There is no evidence of that at what all. What do you call their voyage up the coast together? I mean, how am I supposed to forgive him for that? And how come you're so forgiving all of a sudden? You're the one who had that relationship with Jack Lee. He betrayed you time and time again, and you can't have a relationship with anyone anymore. A rotten thing to say. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. If you think that insulting me is another way for you to get me to take on your case, then I think you need another semester of charm school. And you absolutely refuse to help me with a divorce. Yes, I absolutely refuse to help you with a divorce. Fine, and I'll get another attorney. Fine, fine. Fine. Excuse me. All I'm asking for is for you to find out what CeCe's planning. Now, he hasn't given Brandon to Santana. He's not going to raise Brandon all by himself. I need someone to be my eyes and my ears in that house. I want to know what's going on. Well, then, Gina, get yourself a hearing eye dog, because I am not about to do this for you. I don't know what CeCe's planning, and I don't really care, but I will tell you something. I think you have made a major mistake by fighting with Cece. Seems to me that you were very lucky to get off so cheaply. Losing my son? You consider that getting off cheaply? Keep your voice down, all right? Beats prison, though, doesn't it? And you must think so, too, because you agreed to his terms. 
Only to buy time. All right. But if I were you, I would just forget about Brandon and this point, Gina, and start concentrating on rebuilding your own life. Show Cece and everybody else that you can make some major contribution to the world. Who knows? Maybe he'll change his mind. All right. You pick out the street corner, and I'll start banging the tambourine. You know, you've never been very easy to talk to. It's just getting worse. Why don't you stop calling me? I'm not going to stop calling you, and you're not going to stop coming. Well, then next time, I suggest that we meet someplace just a little less public. And if people do start asking questions after having seen us here, which they may well have, I just want you to tell them that we're discussing arrangements for Brandon's trust fund. You understand? That's right. We can't take any chances with your precious reputation, now can we? Gina, I am getting in so good with the Capitals right now that pretty soon not even you will be able to hurt me. Got a new hold on Eden? That's right. What? Well, a pretty common one for a recent bridegroom to have over his bride. <laughs> Don't tell me you've got her pregnant already. <laughs> no, but I'm working on it. Well, you certainly don't waste any time, do you, Kurt? I know what you're after. That inheritance that Cece has set up for the first grandson. Well, I hope Eden has a girl. Not only that, I hope she has one girl after another. Because Cece, being the sexist pig that he is, isn't setting up the girls nearly as well as he will the first boy. It'll be a boy. <clears throat> and even if it isn't, I'm sure you'll try to pass it off as one. No. I don't think Eden's gonna get pregnant by you. Not until she gets Cruz out of her system. And that's not gonna happen in your lifetime. So you keep on living your little dream world, Kurt. Meanwhile, don't change your number. I'd like to keep in touch. some severe medical problems before you know it. I, I'm serious, especially in the sand. Your, your arch is going to go, then your, your, your ligaments, and finally your knees. Uh, put me in a wheelchair by age 30. Not before. Okay. Well, perhaps you'd like to demonstrate for me the correct style. Okay. Uh, just heel toe. Come on, you try it. Just heel toe. Is Kirk home? Yes, dear. I think he's upstairs in your room. Great. Thank you. Hi. We expect you back so quickly. No, it didn't take as long as I thought. I'm glad you're here, though. I have something to say to you. I've been thinking about it since our talk this morning. What's that? Oh, I just want to apologize. I really would put too much pressure on you about having a baby. Darling, when you do get pregnant, I want you to want it and not dread it. So we'll just wait until you say the word. I mean it. Thank you. It's very sweet. All right. I'll try him later. <laughs> Sorry, am I uh, never seen jogging out there before? 
Oh, yeah, not just about every day. You're never out there. Well, because I'm new in town. I just started. Oh, you well, shoot. Welcome to Santa Barbara, then. That's great. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I'm Ted. What's yours? Oh, Haley. All right. Well, very nice meeting you. you. Um, shoot, I hate to say this, but I have to go uh, to the hospital. My sister's sick right now. Oh, I'm really sorry. Oh, oh no, 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 no. She's going to be just fine. But uh, I'd like to see her. That's all. Well, that's okay, because I'm meeting someone here anyway. Oh, all right. Uh, well, then I just hope we see each other again sometime. I hope so, too. Very nice meeting you. I uh, already did that. Uh, <laughs> see ya. Okay, bye. <laughs> well, I see you found the place all right. Hi. Yeah, uh, I met this guy who told me how to get here. Well, actually, he brought me here. You sure work fast. Oh, no. No, no, he's, he's really nice. His name's Ted. I didn't catch his last name. How'd you meet him? Oh, he was out jogging, too, and just stopped to talk. It's really nice. Are you planning to see him again? Oh, only if we run into each other jogging. I mean, he didn't make a day anymore. Haley, do you think he liked you? Oh, I don't know. Not especially. I think you're too modest. You know, Haley, you're a whole lot more attractive than you seem to think you are. With some makeup and the right clothes. If someone were to take you in hand, I bet you could catch just about any man. Hi, Julia. Are you waiting for someone? The next boat. Oh, that'll be a little while. Why don't you let me buy you a drink while you're waiting? I don't drink this early in the day, Mason. Ooh, an old-fashioned girl, huh? Well, come over here. I'll give you my uh, personal bar exam so that you can practice law out here on the casino. You know, I just have to question the ethics of an attorney that sets up practice in casinos and bars. Mm, and what are you practicing out of these days, Julia? Your car? Is a convertible more ethical? Actually, I have just rented an office. Not that it's any of your business. Ooh, but your practice is hardly thriving, is it? And now you've refused to represent your own sister in her divorce case. I refuse to represent her because it goes against my principles. Oh, those again. Principles can be expensive pets, Julia. You sure you can afford to keep them? You know, you're not half as bad as you'd like to see, Mason. It's sort of disappointing in a way. Oh, really? I'm sorry. I'll try harder. You'll do something for me. <laughs> what? Start using that brain of yours. Get busy in your practice, even if it means taking cases that you're not too fond of. We live in the real world, Julia, where people get divorces and need to be represented. You're a lawyer. You can't afford to approve or disapprove. Mason, you are such a weasel. That's it. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Augusta, I found the perfect man for you to represent you in all of your legal affairs. Would you like to uh, step into my office and discuss it? Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Please understand, I am not being unreasonable. I just want to make certain I get everything I'm entitled to. And, well, you should. Do you have a list of specifics? Well, I don't have a formal list. But I do know I want a sizable alimony, and I think I'd like all of Lionel's art collection. That should really hit him where it hurts. Not that I want to be vindictive. Well, of course not, but you are the injured party. Therefore, you're entitled to whatever recompense you feel is adequate. Do you ever really think those recompense for all the pain and wounds that may never heal? Well, of course not, Augusta, but we can try. I like your attitude. How do you feel about taking me on as a client? Augusta, there's no one I would rather represent. Really? Really. Of course, we'll want to subpoena Lionel's files and get a full and objective accounting of everything before he has a chance to hide too much. Oh, I like the idea of looking into Lionel's affairs, if you take my meaning. I just don't want you poking around in mine. Augusta, anything you tell me will be held in the strictest confidence. Uh -huh. I don't really care about that anymore. Why don't we just air all the dirty laundry? I don't care about embarrassing Lionel. And it'll infuriate Minx, which of course is a definite plus. 
We're going to make a good team, Augusta. We think alike. But then we always have. Oh, I don't know about that. We've been on the opposite sides on some issues. Of course, if we're on the same side in this issue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one other thing. Tell me something. How much are you going to charge me for these legal fees? I mean, I don't really have any ready cash, you know. 10% of the total cash value of everything the court awards you. Well, that's fair. Do we have a deal? For 10%, Augusta, you can have my firstborn child. Thanks, but no thanks. Oh, not what I said. <laughs> no, what I said, what I said was it's not agony. It's page mom. Don't leave. Just sit down, please. Did you get my letter? Please sit down. Yeah, I got your letter. And I think I deserve an explanation. I think the letter pretty much says it all. No, it doesn't. Now, what is going on? I think we're going too fast. Yeah, really? Oh, have I made you unhappy? I thought we were doing pretty well. Cruz, you still care about Eden. You know that. And me, well, I... I have to get my life together and put things in perspective. Isn't that what we've been helping each other to do? Our problems are too different. I have Brandon to worry about. And I came to realize that he is the most important part of my life. I know that. I understand what you've been going through. And I don't see the point of trying to go it alone. Now, we both need a good friend right now. A good friend? Well, you don't know what I'm talking about? Santana, I care about you. Yes, you care about me. So what is this really about? I said it in the letter, I need time by myself. We were fine. The minute you talk to Mr. C, everything's crazy, everything's off. Now, I'm supposed to believe there's no connection. I have to go. Please, don't follow me. Sometimes, what is this? I'm sorry. What have uh, you two been doing for your birthday? Just having a good time. Good. Has he uh, showered you with gifts? Not yet, but there's a surprise waiting for me at the guest house. I don't have any idea what it is. Well, I'm glad. I hope it's nice. Did you too? If Mark thought of it, I'm sure it is. Practical too, probably. A case of canned goods. Or side of bacon. He's not really the frivolous sort. Is he? Don't start, all right? Well, I just can't picture Mark coming to your door with a pride of lions or a fleet of gondolas. I wouldn't know what to do with a fleet of gondolas. It's uh, too bad. I would have taken you up in a hot air balloon, floating over the coastline, sipping champagne. Lights make me dizzy better than being down in the depths. Excuse me, Mason. You have a call on the bar phone. Oh, thank you, Bobby. Excuse me. Hello? Mason, something's happened. W what, Rosa? What's wrong? That horse I saw you tie outside the guest house this morning? Yeah, what about it? It got loose. It's gone inside the guest house, and Lord only knows what it's doing in there. Good grief. All right, thanks, Rosa. I'll be there as soon as I can. Now, come on. Look at what you've done. <laughs> You're supposed to be a surprise, not a disaster. The whole thing's going to backfire. Come on, are you a horse or a mule? Oh, let's you ready? Yes, yes. Surprise! Yes. 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 
the hell is a horse doing in here? Horse? Yes, that horse! Oh, this horse. Well, it, um, it apparently wandered in from outside, and I was trying to get it out. They've been very lax down at the stables lately. I've been meaning to talk to them about it. Why, wow. This horse says happy birthday, man. Why, so it does. My flowers. I didn't know horses ate flowers, did you? Champagne! Or drank champagne. The cake! Oh, Mark. Oh, you must have gone to so much trouble. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, it's really a, a shame, isn't it? At first, I thought it was, uh, you know, vandals on horseback or a professional gang or something roaming the neighborhood, but I, I guess it's uh, this one horse. It's ruined. It's all ruined. There. And don't you think that's a little softer? Yes, I like it. Now, we'll have to have it professionally done, of course, but, you know, that's kind of the look I was going for. You know, we might even have it streaked, lighten a little bit. Have you ever tried that? No. Huh, I think it'd be fun. I mean, especially at your age now. You're getting to the stage in your life where you might want to experiment with different looks. Do you have a boyfriend? No, not, well, not really. I mean, I had one in high school, but we broke up before I came out here. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, no, I mean, I was the one that broke it off. He, he wanted to get married, have kids, buy a car. Well, don't you want to get married? Sure, one day, but not until I find someone really special. Or very, very rich. <laughs> no, no, ambition is what I mean. Money is not important to me. Love is. Well, that's very sweet. You have a good heart, Haley. Mom always said, don't settle for second best. But Stan was barely second best. And Gina. I mean, that's my father you're talking about. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it the way it sounded. It's just that, well, Stan never really made much of himself. And I think you're a very special girl, and you could find someone very special. I'm not special. Of course you are. I mean, you're young, you're beautiful. You deserve to find someone special in your life. And you can make that happen for yourself. Well, I'm not all that sophisticated enough to find a Prince Charming. Why not? Why not have your very own Prince Charming? As far as sophistication goes, well, I can help you with that. We'll come up with something. <laughs> it sounds like you already have someone in mind. Well, I just think good men are hard to come by. Especially princes of men. They don't grow on trees. I think there's one out there that might be just ripe for picking. You know, I have to be getting dressed, okay? Sweetheart. I love you. You're beautiful. Can you blame me for wanting us to have children? I'm glad you understand that I don't want to have a child right away. I do. We'll have some someday. Oh, yeah, we have plenty of years ahead of us. There's no rush. Now, would you mind very much if I came along to the restaurant with you tonight? I'm just going to be working. You'll be bored out of your mind. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind watching you no matter what you do. I just want to keep track of you these days. Every move you make. And you're nuts. Every step you take. <laughs> Look, I've got to get dressed, OK? Well, if I have to let you go, I have to let you go. Yes. I just want you to know that I'm very happy right now. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you're happy. I'm happy, too. As a matter of fact, I think I'm probably the happiest man in the world right now. I love you. I can't hear you. I started the shower. <laughs> I said I love you.
my dearest 